back to another vlog video. This is tu uh, Tuesday. Nope, nope. Take it back. It is Wednesday, October 26th of 2016, and I am just leaving the thrift store, trying out a new um, mount that I got for my camera slash cell phone. This is a Fly Car Holder Universal. So we're gonna see how this works. It seems to be okay. Doesn't fit as snugly as I would like. Um, at least when it comes to the arm, the arm is a little loose, but it actually holds the phone nice and tight. So we'll just see how well this works. I mean, this is actually probably made more for a GPS, but I did want to have an extra mount, one a little bit, basically what it does is it clamps down on the phone. So this one actually hugs the phone a little bit more snugly than the uh, ones that I got on eBay. I had a few uh, errands I had to run this morning. I had a doctor's appointment. Nothing major, just routine stuff. So you don't have to worry about it. I'll be here for a good long time. Um, and I can see already this is kind of a wiggly. So maybe switching over to the other one. But again, we'll just see how this works out. Uh, heading over to the other thrift store right now. I want to see if they gotten anything good in. I was listening to some uh, news before. See, um, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the politics, but I'm just t so tired of it. Everywhere I go, I have to hear, oh, who are you voting for? Who who do you think is going to do the best job? Well, you know what? At this point, I just really don't care. I am so tired of hearing about it. It just it, it, It's getting on my nerves. And it's sad because if you read a lot of the uh, news stories, uh, Huffington Post had one out, um, CNN, Fox News, they all had uh, things out about uh, voter stress, how everybody is totally stressed out with this election. They're so fearful of the way the country's going to be. It just, it boggles the mind. And I'm just, I am going to vote. You guys know what I'm going to vote and I'm going to leave it at that. So this is going to be the very last thing you're going to hear about politics with me for this channel. So that's a promise to you guys. Well, I'm almost at the other thrift store. I'm going to see uh, see what I can find there. Hopefully, they put some more electronics out. They said they were going to get a few more items out today. Don't know how true that is, but we'll find out, and I'll talk to you in a little All bit. Right, tubers. Well, um, just went to the other thrift store, and I had a lot better luck at this one, actually, believe it or not. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. First thing I got was some more of this... Um, anti-run antiseptic screen gel cleaner this you use with microfiber claws you can clean any lcd screen even crt screens this does a good job too it's actually a gel it's not necessarily a, a liquid and much safer for all the chemicals that are in those screens because if you continually to you can you use something like windex that's a ammonia based cleaner you can actually eventually wear off the enamel on your flat panel screen so this is a much better option i only gave a dollar for that next i got something i needed for a while i got one of these uh, panasonic pencil sharpeners i remember using these when i was actually in middle school so this one's probably a little old it's not a huge one it's a little tray here the go ahead and empty the shavings it does look it was used very much and I want up paying two dollars for that oh, there you go you guys can see it a little bit better now not a bad deal considering those can be 25 30 dollars brand new and that one doesn't look like it's really uh, been used that much next something I was really surprised to find at the new thrift store and th these items came from the lifeline thrift store not the CHKD got a copy of Alvin and the Chipmunks the squeak wool now this one is complete except for the manual so unfortunately the uh, digital copy in here is not going to uh, do me any good because I don't have the code for that but you know what for two bucks it was still worth it I got the DVD and the blu-ray in there and I believe I do already have a digital copy of this one so it wasn't that big of a deal a lot of times what people do is they'll uh, take out the um, the uh, digital copy they'll take out the actual sheet here they'll put digital copy on something like their ipad their iphone and they'll just get rid of this because there's no reason to watch it on a blu-ray or a uh, dvd player when you actually have the uh, digital copy available right on your mobile device well i got a few minutes to wait uh we're dan and i are going to hit up and we're going to eat some nicks today so he's uh he's waiting he's got to do a few things before he leaves the house so 
thought I'd talk about something I heard that was really funny on the radio. In my area, we have these uh, local radio personalities. Um, I think this one was Tony McCreaney. I didn't really, I didn't really hear a lot of it. It's just kind of what I heard in between going to the thrift stores. But basically, what their topic was today was odd ways um, family members have found cremated other family members, basically, and it was really weird. I guess kind of the Halloween thing is going on right now. Um, there was a story where this, uh, this, these two daughters had, had to cremate their mother because they didn't have the money. The mother didn't set aside money for the burial. And they didn't actually have money for a funeral or a burial. So what they did was they actually, um, put her, her ashes up in a closet and apparently their niece was over one day and found the box and they asked, uh, the the ants you know what is this and the ants didn't try to sugarcoat it they said exactly they said oh well sweetie those are the remains of your dead grandmother and i kid you not they said the daughter turned white as a ghost and was ready to faint and i was like why would you not sugarcoat something like that i mean you could tell me you could tell them it was ashes from a fireplace i, I just found it incredibly incredibly unsensitive it was funny in a way but I mean, as a kid, I could see that being really, really scary. And then there was another one where um, a relative, they didn't say what relation, but a relative was over someone's house and they were looking at an urn on the mantle. And they said it was the remains of their pet cat, which is very common. I know a lot of people, uh, and, and I'm one of them too. I mean, I really get attached to my animals. Like I was really upset when Simon passed. Would I cremate my pet and keep it? No, no, because the way I look at it, it's an empty shell at that point. The, the, my cat's not there. My cat's in heaven somewhere. You know, it's it's like I, it, I'm like I'm not going to keep something that really doesn't have any any value. The, the the value and the meaning for me is right up here. It's the memories that you have with that animal, person, whatever. It's not their charred remains. So, but you know what? Other people may feel differently. I mean, if if it helps console you after a death do it by all means and we have a good uh we have a really really good um place around here pet cremation services um basically they they'll do it for you uh the, the prices are really good they'll even do a funeral if you want i've actually heard about those before find it kind of odd to me it's odd but you know what to each his own if somebody like if somebody needs that kind of closure then absolutely i have no problem with that well, I'm going to head over to Nick's because I think Dad's going to be here in a few minutes. Um, we'll see what the rest day brings, and I will talk to you a little bit later. All right, Tuber, so it is about 3 o'clock now, and uh, this is going to be a shout-out to YouTube user Eric Brunhammer. Eric, got your package right here. I know I said I was going to uh, probably send out tomorrow morning, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get it done tonight. Though our post office isn't usually the greatest this time of day. <laughs> We have two of them near my area, and the one I refuse to go to because the people there in my, the one in my town, um, are so nasty, I won't even go there. It's just not worth it. The other one is the town right next to me, and the people at that post office are extremely nice. And that's the one that I want to try to go to right now. But unfortunately, everybody else has kind of come to this realization too, so... Yeah, a lot of times people just be piling there around 3 o'clock, but I think we'll be able to get it done. Um, I did pick up a, uh, another computer today. Uh, I did a trade uh, with a friend of mine, and I'll probably give you guys a quick uh, snippet of that when I get home. It's a uh, little Acer desktop. It's actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a Core i3 running at, uh, I think it was 3.06 gigahertz. It was a uh, third generation Core i3. Um, it's got four gigs of RAM, which I'm gonna try to upgrade a little bit, and then it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and it's running Windows 10, so don't know. Might use that for a project, might not. Have to see what, what happens in the future, but um, we're gonna pause the video for right now because I do wanna rush, at least rush over to the post office. I think if I can get there within the next half an hour, I'll be okay, and, uh, you won't have to worry about the lines too much, so talk right, to you a little bit. Well, just sent out Eric Brunhammer's package. Got the receipt right here, and I had actually just sent him a copy of it via the uh, Messenger app. So he should now have that, and the package should arrive within uh, two days. I did it priority mail, so 
I'm going to start this car because it is getting really warm in here right now. Even though it's, uh, let's see, what's the temperature? It's about 61 outside. Uh, inside this car gets hot really quick, um, especially because I don't have very high tint on these windows. I'm not a big fan of, like, strong tint. It's got, like, a mild tint to it. So the sun beats down this time of day, and it gets really hot. I am going to stop the store. Need, I need to get some peanut butter, and then we'll head home. I will right, talk to you in a little bit. Well, I'm on the vlog here for today. Before I do, I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, look at this computer I got today. This is actually an Acer Ver Veritron. Um, it's a Core i3 system, and I'll, I'm doing some installs right now, but I'll give you guys the uh, specs on this All really right, quick. Let's go in and see what we got here. It's got a 500 gig hard drive, but it's actually broken up into... Uh, two around 220 gigabyte blocks one is the main op os drive and the other one they're using as a data drive so that's that's actually a good thing that way you can store your data on a different partition just in case you have a uh, infection you can reformat the computer without losing your data see it's a uh, core i3 3 220 uh, 3.3 gigahertz. I did upgrade it. Now has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Shows 7.89 gigabytes usable. That's because uh, the built-in video card uses uh, some of that memory. One thing I need to look at, I'm not exactly sure what the video card in this is. It's probably just an Intel graphics card, but I didn't actually look at that yet. Let's see what we got. Yep, just a regular Intel HD graphics. So, uh, yeah. Not too bad of a little system. I hooked it up with uh, two monitors. I got this 19 inch Dell LCD with the uh, sound bar underneath. Then I have this 19 inch ViewSonic. This one of course in the 4x3 aspect ratio. So I'm just going to work on this tonight and I will talk to you guys in a couple of days. Maybe tomorrow. I'll have to see how it goes. Have a blessed day everybody.